Big news for AMD users, ComfyUI finally has official AMD GPU support on Windows. There's no hacks, no workarounds, no custom scripts, it just works. The latest ComfyUI desktop update brings native Rockham support, meaning you can now fully use your AMD GPU for local image and video generations cleanly and officially. In this video, I'll walk you through a full start to finish install on my RX 9070 XT and trust me, this is the easiest it's ever been. And stick around till the end because I'll also showcase real workflows using ZImage for image generation and WAN 2.2 for text to video generation. Alright, so let's get started. So first of all, let's go ahead and grab the download the ComfyUI desktop version. And you can just download for Windows. And choose the install location for the setup. I'm just gonna put in my downloads. Alright, so now I'm going to open this installer. And I'll go ahead and keep it in the default locations. However, you can choose to install in a different location or another folder. All right, now it's all set up. Let's press finish. And now it will actually install all the dependencies it needs. Let's get started. And see, you can uh, see that the AMD Rockham option is selected by default. So let's press next. And then you can select where you want the Python files are. I'm just going to pick the default location. And now this might take a while to, because it's installing PyTorch with the Rockham enabled version. And once it's done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. And here is starting the ComfyUI server. And there you have it. The ComfyUI UI is now open. Now you might see here in the console that it's not actually detecting the GPU that you have. This might be because you have integrated graphics. So the easiest fix for this is going to the server config and changing the CUDA de device index to use. I'm going to use device index one and restart. And now if we check the console again, we will see that it's using the 9070 XT. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is that you need to have the specific AMD GPU drivers installed. The specific version is 25.20.01.17 and you can get it from this link over here which I will link in the description. You can press this link and go through the steps and install. As for an extra step, it's recommended to use the cleanup utility to remove existing drivers and use this one. Now keep in mind there is a latest version for the AMD GPU drivers, however they weren't exactly fit to use Rockham. So for now, this is the driver that you can use and it will work flawlessly. So if you watched my earlier videos, you already know how painful this used to be. The first time I tried it, I used Zluda, a CUDA translation layer, which was powerful, but it was very hard to install. The second video I made was using the custom script, which installed the Python Rockham versions. I know many of you had some issues and it was hard to navigate. Plus, it's harder to update the UI and have these extra features, for example, the custom nodes and updating the UI automatically. So now that everything is officially supported, it's way easier for AMD GPU users. Okay, so over here on the left, I have these templates or workflows that I made. The first one I'll show you guys is ZImage. So this is the actual workflow recommended by ZImage. And as you can see, these are the models that you will need to install. However, keep in mind that this is the full size model and there is a GGUF version of Z image and uh, the workflow needed for that, which will be useful for less VRAM and it can also generate images faster. So I'll go ahead and place all of these models into the respected folders that they need and I'll show you guys a run for this workflow. Okay, so now I have gone ahead and added all the models that I needed. And th for this one, you can just disable the LoRa and we will see how it runs. So the models that we needed were the Z Image Turbo model and Quen 3 4B model, as well as the VAE model, which is the variation auto encoder. And now let's just try and run it by inputting something in the prompt. A scene from Sponge. Bob Square Pants, where SpongeBob is 
flying a jetpack. Now let's see it generate. We'll go to the performance and hopefully our GPU is actually being utilized. And we can check the console as well to see the status. As you can see, we have some spikes in the GPU usage. And we're getting about 7 seconds per iteration. And it's I just set the default of 9 steps. And it will reduce in time needed per iteration as more iterations are done. Now the cool thing about this model is that it's aware of many characters and for example like Spongebob and Mickey Mouse and all of these characters. It's very good using those and putting them in the images that you generate. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> There's Spongebob and I think that's the jetpack. However, we can give it a more detailed prompt. I'll just use ChatGPT for that. Improve this prompt with more detail. Okay, so I went ahead and added a different, more detailed prompt. And this would be my second time generating, so it might be faster. The first time was 80, took 80 seconds. Let's see again. And there we go. Now it's a bit more detailed with the jetpack. This is using the ZImage Turbo model the full model without any uh, quantization. So next up, I have this workflow, which uses custom nodes that I haven't installed yet. So the best thing about having the native desktop app running is that you can just install all. And now it will install the nodes that I needed. Okay, so it says all missing nodes have successfully been installed. So I just need to restart ComfyUI again. And there you have it. So now we have these custom nodes, which load the quantized models. In the workflow, it shows you this node where it tells you where to put, uh, where to place all these models. And I chose the Q4 quantization for both. So now let's just put the same prompt as before and see what it does and how fast. Keep in mind the previous one took 60 seconds to run and now let's try again so i'm going to press control enter to run now we can see slightly faster from uh, seconds per iteration of like four around four and there we go it's almost the same image which is good to see however <laughs> this one has three legs and this one doesn't actually and this took 51 seconds. Keep in mind that the resolution was even higher than before. So if we set the resolution the same as before, it was 1024 each. And let's run it again. And wow, now we're getting one second per iteration. So that would be around 10 seconds for this workflow to run. And there you have it. And this one doesn't have doesn't even have three legs anymore. So this one took 14 seconds. So now you have a faster and easier way to generate images using Z image and the distilled version, which in this case is Q4. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, this is the workflow that I use to generate videos using WAN 2.2. So it's a bit complicated and I'll explain to you what we need. You can ignore this, uh, message because we didn't actually use the full scale models it won't actually fit in my vram and we use the quantized models so i got this workflow from the official comfy ui website where you can scroll around and see all the examples and tutorials and i found the text to video over here and if you download the json workflow select it all and just for reference let's see what it looks like there you have it. So this was the same exact workflow. However, the only thing I changed was instead of installing, instead of using the diffusion model loader, I used the quantized model loader. So I got these models from this hugging face link. This is by a person called Quantstack on hugging face, and they are direct conversions of the official model. So over here, you can install different versions and quantization levels. So I chose uh, Q4, as you can see here, it's Q4KS. And for this model, it needs the high noise and low noise model. And also what you can use and install for this workflow 
is the four step LoRa's. So these will actually increase the speed and lower the time it takes for the video to actually generate. As you can see from this note over here, it's reduced it by around 5x. So, but this is using the 4090. And I do need to clarify that for the 9070 XT in this case, it took way too long to generate videos which are five seconds long. So I set this to 41, which is around two seconds, assuming that it's 16 FPS. So that's around, yeah, two seconds and a half. So I created this prompt, fluffy dinosaurs in all out war, intense battlefield huge army. Let me just enhance it using ChatGPT. Enhance this prompt for a text to video generation model. And there we go. Let me just click, take this and copy paste it. All right. Now let's just run. Keep in mind from my, from my previous testings, it took around 180 seconds, which is three minutes to generate. And let's see how long this one takes. And there you can see it took 20 seconds for the first iteration. In total, it will, it will do four total iterations. And now it's using the low noise model. And here it's a good sign that we can see full utilization of the GPU. It is now going through the VAE decode step. In the VAE decode step, if you're not using the correct AMD GPU drivers, you might get static outputs. I've suffered with that a lot. And I even tried VAE decode and the tiled version and others. However, only after I installed this driver is when it actually output it correctly. And there we have it. And now look, I'll be honest, it's not the best quality and the resolution is not the highest. And if you have patience, you can try the five seconds, which is the length of 81. However, it might take a while. So this one took 152 seconds in total. And let's see what it created. Okay. <laughs> Nice, and there's a cut with the dinosaur at the end. But it's not bad as a first try as performance of the early stages of Rockham and AMD GPUs. Also, with the announcement of this Comfy UI desktop integration with AMD GPUs, AMD announced the future coming of Rockham 7.2, which will include the entire stack of Rockham, because on Windows, only a few features are supported. However, in the future, we will most likely see better performance and faster speeds and even better models. One model that I've just seen released is the Lightrix uh, 2 model, which can generate video and audio at the same time. However, it's too big currently to run. So in the future, hopefully when a distilled or a quantized model is released, we can see it running on AMD GPUs as well on Windows. So there you have it guys, now it's way easier to run Comfy UI with an AMD GPU on Windows. And I showed you how to run Z-Image Turbo as well as WAN 2.2. So I'll link all the links uh, that you will need down below and I'll share the workflows in my Discord server as well. And try it out and leave a comment down below to tell me how it went. So I know in the previous video, I had a lot of comments saying that this didn't work, this did not work, it was too difficult, but some people said that it did work. So hopefully now more people will say that it did work. And also we're so close to reaching 500 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and like, comment and share. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.